It's like door jewelry. Pretty cool. Hey guys, I got Brian from Door Design Workshop here and we're gonna be installing this gorgeous Chant hardware. And I wanted to show you guys the process and putting this together and the difference in quality of this versus like your standard typical hotel mortise lock. So Brian, what is this? That is the 9139 from Accurate. This is a privacy mortise lock. So Josh, this again is our lock and we're gonna install this cage on it. So this cage will allow us to do a roseless design. Most roseless designs just rely on the spindle to keep that lever straight and to, to be able to actuate the lock. Okay. But Chant takes it to the next level and uses this piece, which we'll show you the rest of it later. So the next step is you're gonna to wanna to put these plates on that come from Chant, and this is like an adapter plate. So you put that on the body of the lock here. I'll show you guys the prep here. These guys go on next. These thread to that brass plate that we showed you before. And I'm gonna show you why that brass plate next is even on there in the first place. So this is what now? What do you that call this? This is our, our hidden rosette with our built-in spring cage. That big heavy spring from Chant will hold that lever straight for years and years and years. Wow, it's amazing. So I have a question. What is that set screw for? That's just to make sure that your lever is squared with your hidden back plate. Interesting. Okay, so you can do it after the fact. Yes. So here's your split spindle so that your levers operate independently. And these are stake punched, so you want to put that on the side that you don't want anybody else to pull it through to enter the uh, door. All right, so this gets put on with the spindle screwed into those little adapters. On the other side, this guy right here gets put into this hole. Put it on that side, which locks into the end. So what comes with it, they actually give you a ball wrench. So now that these are on, use your set screws, torque those in on all sides. There's two set screws under here. That one is not for the plate. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> That's to level out your um, your handle. So then these go on afterwards and get locked into those brass fittings we had before. All right, Josh, this is our lever. This is the, um, the line, ah, I started it. Take two, go ahead. All right, Smarty, so this is our, our block lever that fits on site onto our rosette. Um, this weighs about a pound, pound and a half. Even though they core out the back side to save on weight, it's still a heavy duty piece of hardware. Why are two set screws? Two set screws, sits on this little piece right here. Make sure is that lever, lever stays on nice and tight. These two guys right here, are gonna fit on those two little uh, pre-drilled doohickeys, whatever you wanna call it. Single, single point egress or single single point egress. Single point, single point. So you don't have to flip the ball. So hey guys, remember I was telling you not to freaking touch that set screw right there. So this is out of level because of me. <laughs> so over time, if this ever droops, you can come back in here with this little guy and adjust that set screw that we showed you previous storyline and uh, level. Yeah, I got them over here. So, so once those bad boys are on there, a little set screw in the bottom. That goes over that. It's like door jewelry. Pretty cool.